Good morning. It is a uh, Thursday, day after Christmas. We've got a lot going on. Surf is down a little, but comes back up. Winter weather advisory in effect in the mountains. That stays up throughout the evening. And really the next couple of days, we're going to see really, um, you know, the kind of snowy travel issue weather in the Sierra Nevada. None of this is big happenings unless you're north of Santa Rosa and then up around Cape Mendocino, they could get over the next 24, 36 hours, they get five inches of rain. Rest of us, you'll see what's coming up, but we're not going to see that much rain. We'll get, you know, kind of like what we're seeing today, but overnight tonight, we'll get a, a pretty good push, and then that, that will be it. I think tomorrow it clears out pretty quick. This is Mavericks. Um, it's windy. Winds are kind of out of the south. That's why it's bumpy. No one's out there trying to surf it, although this last run of surf has been epic beyond epic it's just been i mean there's been runs like this but you, you got to go back uh, and the surf stays big so it's, and it's also stays extremely dangerous it's that time of um that time of year where you know it's just it, it's just not a good time to go offshore in a boat outside the gate inside the bay it's still a little sketchy right just because of the winds and the rain and the cloud cover and the fog but outside it's it's nasty and it has been for a number of weeks now and it will stay this way for at least a week and a little beyond that. And I'll show you what I mean coming up. This is, I went looking for sunshine because there's not a lot. And I went all the way to San Diego, Orange County, or just north of San Diego. This is Trussell's. And uh, this is a little swell getting in. This, for these guys, it's pretty good size, right? Swell is west. So California takes a west swell pretty aggressively. In other words, um, when it comes, it, the coastline, like San Francisco, Ocean Beach, faces almost due west. Mavericks has a lot of west face, and so that's why these waves get so big when you get these westerly swells. And the ocean becomes even more dangerous when you get a westerly swell because there's no diffused energy. It's just from 4,000 miles of deep Pacific water just hits the shelf and goes. So the forecast, and I'll tell you, this is today, 10 to 15 foot. Then it comes back up to 15 to 20 and hovers there through the weekend. And so it's going to be... You know, it's it's going to be woolly. It's not as big as it was, but it was giant. Now it's just giant. It's not as giant, but it's giant. So ocean dangerous right now. So consider that if you uh, go, even go watching it, you know, it's just it can be dangerous. So this is the satellite imagery. This is kind of what went through here. You kind of see this swirl, a few light scattered showers, a little cooler air, lower snow levels. Snow levels are going to come up because we're seeing this blob of some tropical moisture. That it would be... You could, technically, that would be an AR of some type uh, because of the length and the width. But uh, it's kind of hitting mainly Northern California. It's mo I, would, I prefer to view these AR weather systems, especially this one, as that's just a plug of some tropical moisture that's getting pushed into our area. But it'll increase the snow levels. It will increase the wind. And then it'll get us some rain around here. But the main rain event is going to be further north, north of... Santa Rosa, more more like in the Ukiah and uh, Cape Mendocino. So let's do this. Let's go look at some of the rainfall totals we've seen thus far. That's over the last 24 hours. And you can see Mount Tam always wins with almost an inch of rain. San Francisco, 07.07. These are all bunched together, but you get the idea. I mean, this just trace amounts of rain. And it's kind of going to do that most of the day today. As we look at Mount Shasta, you can see that uh, they've got some snow. Snow levels are a little lower up there because they're further north, right? They have a, 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 a higher latitude. So it's cooler air can exist longer. So you can see Mount Shasta, kind of a few raindrops there. Actually, it looks like it might be raining a little bit. Um, but just a beautiful, beautiful view of the mountain and the snow that is to come. They're going to get a bunch of snow up there tonight and tomorrow morning. They'll probably get, oh heck, they could see couple feet of snow from this. Lake Tahoe will see maybe six to eight inches of snow from this overnight event. Uh, this is the current radar and it's you can see it's just sort of all over the map. So there's really no clearly defined frontal system here. This is just kind of warmer air moving in, hitting the hillsides, being lifted up, orographic lifting, and um, dropping rain. And in this case, the snow levels are going to go up too. As the air gets lifted, the warmer air comes in and it's going to rain but the snow levels are gonna go up to past levels. So we'll be looking at snow, certainly, you know, at 6,000 feet, some models suggest even higher than that. So that's tonight and tomorrow. 
So a little soft, a little kind of drippy around the lake. Okay, along the coast, the entire coastline, this dark purple line right here represents a high surf warning that stays in effect and should stay in effect for the next three or four days. And uh, this purple area here is a winter weather advisory, and underneath that is the radar. Okay, so let's look at the model, because that's what you want to see. This is the GFS. It is linked on my uh, links page. If you go to my links page, it's, um, it's under COD. College of DePay, which is a, a, a weather suite, which is awesome. It's got all the model, everything you see here, not everything, but a lot of the stuff you can get right there. And you can just dig this up on your own, which is, I want you to do that actually. So, um, okay, so here we are now. Here we are tonight, right there. That's the main hit. This is tonight after midnight. And then that is early tomorrow morning and then done. Done, that's mid morning right there. So that's, this is the main event for us the next couple days. So that's tonight, and then that's tomorrow morning. Then we go to Saturday, and you get a little drive-by Saturday morning. No big deal. Don't change your plans. And then see the, how, how centered all this is north? It's all centered up in there. And then here comes a little hit here on Sunday mid-morning. Kind of drives through. It looks like that's... That Sunday looks a little damp. You know what Sunday looks like? It looks a little bit like today in terms of the model output. And then there you go. So none of this is, is, is high grade stuff. And you can see that by the amount of rainfall anticipated um, over the next 24 hours. So even Marin County, just under an inch of rain. San Francisco looks pretty good. If, that's, if, if I read that right, that's like 0.88. So that, that our graphic uh, or that moist warm air is going to come in and maybe get San Francisco some over a half inch of rain. We'll see. But this is an overnight thing. But, and none of it, none of it is, is uh, biblical or, or like, I guess what I'm trying to get at is nothing like what we saw a few weeks ago. Uh, in the mountains right now, it is starting to turn over, starting to warm up a little bit. Uh, you're seeing the wet on the roads. That's always an indication. This is Castle Peak. But you can see it, right, the road's wet. So you get the vibe that, yeah, the snow is not sticking. It is sticking. Well, no, actually, it's not here either. But this is, I think they were training up. Yeah, they're chaining up here. Looks like they got a, a break pointer, yeah. So they're chaining up, and that's why everybody's going so slow. And that's a king bell. So kind of a, a warmer weather system going through. The real rain, if you're thinking about, okay, urban and small stream flooding, that's going to be north of the Santa Rosa line, further north. And those communities probably won't have a problem because they are kind of set up for this kind of rain. There'll be sharp increases on the Russian River, up certain around Healdsburg, but it shouldn't get to, to the... Um, monitor stage i would not i would be surprised they could see four or five inches of rain up there over the next couple of days okay there you go that's the weather we'll see you back here tomorrow